Hi everybody, welcome back to our kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. In today's video, we are going to make sourdough morning glory muffins. Let's get started. You're gonna to want to start out by combining all of the dry ingredients into one bowl. So add your flour, your sugar, your baking powder, baking soda, salt, ground ginger, and your ground cinnamon to the bowl. Then you're going to add all the add-ins like the walnuts, the shredded carrots, the shredded um, coconut and raisins. Then we're also gonna add a grated apple and the zest of an orange. Use a whisk to combine all the dry ingredients together and then set that aside. Next, you're going to combine the wet ingredients. So in a smaller bowl, put the sourdough starter discard, the butter and eggs, your sour cream, vanilla extract, and then the juice of the orange. Once you have that in the bowl, just again, whisk that up until it's nice and smooth. And then you can pour that directly into the dry ingredients. Use your whisk to combine those until everything's incorporated. You don't wanna overwork the batter. And then you can divide it amongst the muffin tins. I like to line my muffin tins with a paper liner to make it easier to get them out of the muffin tin, but you can also just grease the muffin tin very generously before you divide the batter. Now this uh, recipe makes 12 muffins, so divide it evenly into the 12 muffin tins. So here's the point at which you can bake these right away or you can place the batter into the refrigerator and you can allow it to ferment overnight. So I actually do like to allow mine to ferment overnight because I'm trying to get the most out of my sourdough starter. So I do like them to ferment, but either way, you're going to bake these at 425 degrees for five minutes. And after that five minutes is up, you're gonna reduce the heat in the oven to 350 degrees. And then you're gonna continue baking them for about 20 minutes or so or until a toothpick inserted into the center of uh, one of the muffins comes out clean. So you'll want to allow these to cool for about 10 minutes in the muffin tin, and then you, you will transfer them to a cooling rack where you can either enjoy them warm or you can allow them to cool completely. Uh, once you have your muffins, if you have any leftovers, you can just store them kind of loosely covered at room temperature for two days. And then after that, you wanna put them in the refrigerator for up to a week. You can also freeze them. I love to freeze my sourdough products because they really do last in the freezer very well. So what I'll do is I will take uh, one of the muffins after they're completely cooled, I will wrap it with some plastic wrap and then insert that into a freezer safe container. And they're good in the freezer for up to three months. And then when you wanna have one, just take one out, let it thaw at room temperature and you're good to go. Look at how moist and delicious these are. They are so, so good, so soft. They're not dense. They're very lightly sweetened and you can see all of the carrots, the apple, the coconut, and you can just see how, how moist they are. Mm, so, so delicious. I really hope that you enjoy this recipe. I think you're really gonna love it. It has so much like good, bold flavors and it's such a great way to use your sourdough discard. So until next time, bye. I'm gonna have one right now. Mm.